the first spacecraft to visit Venus and Mars completely changed humankind's view of Earth's planetary neighbours. Scientists now realise their similarities as well as their differences to Earth. Greater knowledge of Mars and Venus has spurred continued exploration with even more advanced spacecraft. Exploring a hostile world like Venus is challenging. Spacecraft that have landed on the surface have quickly succumbed to the intense heat, extreme atmospheric pressure and burning acid rain. Attempting to probe the atmosphere in visible wavelengths alone is futile, as the clouds cannot be penetrated and show no features or markings. Therefore, other wavelengths of light must be used. In 2005, the European Space Agency launched its first mission to explore Venus and the first to go there for more than 10 years. Venus Express made a five-month journey from Earth to study the planet from orbit. This spacecraft is packed with a suite of instruments to study the Venusian atmosphere and near-space environment at radio, visible and infrared wavelengths, performing spectroscopy and measuring energetic particles. Data from Venus Express allows scientists to study how the workings of the atmosphere, the atmospheric loss to space and the greenhouse effect all act together to produce a climate so different from Earth. Venus Express primarily examines the planet's atmosphere. However, the atmosphere is so dense and therefore closely associated with the surface that studying it will provide clues to the nature of the planet as a whole. The thermal infrared camera on board Venus Express has peered into the thick atmosphere and allowed scientists for the first time to map the wind, speed in three dimensions. To achieve this, the thermal camera tracked clouds at three different levels in the atmosphere, including those just 50 kilometers above the surface, for long periods of time. This provides enough data to allow scientists to start piecing together a picture of the atmospheric phenomena. Data from the onboard spectrometers have shown that the amount of toxic sulfur dioxide varied considerably over just a few days. Sulfur dioxide is not thought to stay for very long, and so it must be being released into the Venusian atmosphere. Otherwise, it would disappear. But how this is occurring, or what mechanism is releasing this gas, is not known. It is likely to be released during volcanic eruptions, but there is as yet no evidence of this process taking place. Water vapor is present in the atmosphere of Venus, but in a very low quantity. Venus Express detected the way in which the atmosphere of the planet is being lost to space. This has provided vital clues as to what happened to the water on Venus. High in the atmosphere, water is broken down into its constituent parts, which are then stripped from the atmosphere by the solar wind, meaning that Venus is still losing water. Measuring the amount that the planet is losing from the atmosphere and calculating backwards over time indicates that Venus may once have had the same amount of water as the Earth does today. Venus Express data confirmed that the Venusian atmosphere generates its own lightning. This was an important discovery as electrical discharge breaks molecules into fragments, enabling chemical processes to take place that would not otherwise be possible. Lightning also occurs on Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn. However, on Venus, it is unique, as it is the only type known to be associated with clouds of sulfuric acid. Since its launch, Venus Express has revealed new aspects of the planet and will continue to peer into and through the Venusian atmosphere to piece together answers to as yet unsolved questions. Are volcanic eruptions responsible for topping up the levels of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere? Will Venus Express detect a volcano erupting? Venus seems to have been more Earth-like in the past and to have had large quantities of water. What happened to cause its climate to change so radically and when? What will happen to the Venusian atmosphere in the future? And how will the climate evolve? Mars Express is the European Space Agency's first mission to Mars. Launched in 2003, 
Mars Express was designed to study the atmosphere and surface of Mars from orbit using a suite of seven instruments. These instruments study Mars in a wide range of wavelengths, including radio to probe beneath the surface, visible and infrared spectrometers to look at minerals and ices on the surface, and ultraviolet and infrared to find out in more detail what elements exist in the atmosphere. Mars Express also has a high-resolution stereo camera in the visible domain that has provided spectacular and detailed images of the surface of the red planet. This mission has been, and is still, a great success.